Hello there. On this Tech Talk, we're going to talk a little bit about uh, a new product that everybody has been raving about, particularly uh, the NA Coyote guys. Uh, however, it definitely has application for boosted guys as well. So what we have in front of us here is a what's in the box overview of the new Holly cast Coyote intake manifold. Now, there's a few different variants of it. This particular one is a low RAM GT500 pattern um, setup. So this is what's in the box. And uh, what I'm gonna do is show you exactly what it comes with and what you have to do to use it. Uh, and then I will briefly go into some of the other variants. So it comes as a kit, it's a modular intake because things can swap out. So the low RAM base is here in the middle. Uh, the, what I think is the best thing about this intake is that it clears a stock 15 and up Mustang hood. Now, that's a problem that the Cobra Jet has. You either have to cut your hood or put lowering mounts on or you know something to drop it down just a little bit. Now, when this is assembled, it fits under the stock hood. It's awesome. A lot of people don't wanna cut their hood. Uh, it looks great as well. Uh, you could paint it, powder coat it, laser etch it, do whatever you want with it. Uh, now there are some pros and cons to it being metal. I'll get to those in just a minute. Uh, but first I want to look at these runners. So these runners are uh, basically the same length as a Cobra Jet uh, and a Boss. Now a lot of billet intakes on the market, they're a short runner, kind of like an LS. Problem with this is you lose torque. Uh, we use the uh, 1320 uh, ported boss and you can uh, pick up power over uh, most of the billet manifolds on the market. So that's the first thing I like about this. Nice lawn runners. Um, yeah, so now this is the lid. You'll see it has an O-ring surface. Uh, O-rings come in the bag. There's a bolt bag. Uh, all the bolts you need to put it together. Uh, some nice 12 point uh, nuts. There's plugs for every port. I'll go over the ports and the stock vacuum and all that stuff uh, in a minute. Now, uh, make sure you put the gaskets in. There's a couple of tips and tricks. If you put a Whipple lid on, you probably know. Put a little bit of clear silicone grease on these gaskets, help hold them in place in the corners. Uh, it won't hurt anything as far as sealing. Uh, be a little bit less aggravating. The other thing is if they're a little bit too small or they feel like they wanna kind of pull out, you can give them just a little tiny bit of stretch uh, and then lay them in. Not too much stretch, obviously, just a little bit. So this is the lid. This is the low ram. This comes in black and bare. Uh, I took a bare one. It seems like most people want black just cause it looks nice. Um, Figured I'd get those out to you guys and use the bare one as a, uh, a demo unit. Now, when this is together, uh, you'll notice the profile is very similar to a Cobra Jet. Now, the back is a little bit shorter, which is why it clears the stock hood. However, if you look at some of the data, uh, particularly Mark Gearhart's uh, engine dyno data, uh, great, great tester, he does everything right, fully trustworthy, um, nobody should ever question anything that he posts up. Um, this is just kind of a reinforcement and a overview of the product itself. Uh, we will have uh, porting info, more results, dyno, all, all that stuff's coming. I just wanted to show you guys real in person what you get. Now, like I said, a little bit shorter. Flow is on par with a ported Cobra Jet out of the box. Now, this has tons of room for porting. Uh, that's another thing I really like about it. Uh, it's cast. You, could, you can go at it with a die grinder. I don't suggest anybody just randomly going at it with a die grinder. I suggest you leave it to the professionals. Um, whether it be 1320 or, or AFS or anybody that uh, knows what they're doing. Um, tons of room on the runners to gain some flow. Uh, they'll probably work the, the, uh, the bowls on the inlet of the runner. Probably not really any need to port the lid unless you're, you're getting really wild. Um, these are already almost like a bell mouth inlet, so there's probably not a lot to do there, but there is room for more flow. Um, and all over, I mean, you could take material all over this thing if you're, you're really hardcore. 
the runners, tons of room between the gasket uh, surface and uh, where they're cast as well. Now, I'm gonna put it back together here. I'm gonna spin it a little bit. So this is the modular front inlet. This one is, uh, like I said, the GT500 throttle variant. That is interchangeable. If you want to, uh, if it's a little bit easier to run a stock throttle body or a GT350 or a bullet throttle body, predator throttle body, you can get the, just the, the snout is interchangeable, comes on and off very quickly. Another gasket, um, take it off, personalize it, have some fun with it, port it, whatever you wanna do. Uh, so that is assembled. It's a great looking intake. Even bare, I'd suggest putting something on it, especially if you're in like a salty air state. Uh, the black looks really nice though. Now, what do you need to do to put this on your car? I'm gonna take this lid back off here. First up is fuel. This intake comes with 8AN billet fuel rails. Um, they are specific to this intake. They are set up for stock style injectors with clips, or you can run you know, your race car injectors um, that aren't necessarily dependent on spray pattern. Um, they have ports on the side, which means it will work with a Gen 3 or Gen 1 and 2. Um, now what they do is they give you plugs for these ports so that you are kind of on your own for plumbing. Uh, it's not hard, we've made kits, they're on the website. Uh, you can get a stock connect fuel rail kit, which will put a crossover hose on the back here. Um, it'll plug this front port and then it'll do a low profile 180 uh, stock connection point here in the, uh, the driver's side front. Everything's included comes ready to, to hook up and go to your stock fuel line, which is really what most NA guys are. Uh, if you have a four system, if you're already running a ported intake or uh, one of our Arcane systems, um, these are eight orb. You just swap your fittings over. If you already have eight AN rails, sell them, get some of your money back. This thing's 800 bucks with billet fuel rails. It, I mean, you can't go wrong. It's insane. So you got your fuel rail set up. We do have completion kits for Gen 3, which have the direct connection point over here. And then on this side, you would put your fuel rail pressure sensor. Uh, our kits come with both side fittings. Um, or if you don't need those, you don't pay extra. Uh, it's a different lower price tier just for the stock connect hoses. Now, the thing that scares a lot of people with these intakes and Holly's earlier sheet metal intakes as well has always been vacuum. So, uh, what I'm going to do, by the way, these are set up for stock height injectors for anybody that needs that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to ditch this piece, and it is heavy. Okay, while I'm lifting it up, cracking my top here, um, that is one of the downsides to being cast. It is heavy. It's like 30 pounds instead of uh, 15 for a ported plastic one, right? Um, Personally, I think it's worth it. Again, 800 bucks. Um, and outflows a ported Cobra Jet. It's crazy. A um, little bit heavy. It also will uh, hold some heat a little bit more so than a plastic one. Uh, I think the gains overall will be will be worth it. Uh, you really can't go wrong with either, you know, a ported Cobra Jet, ported one of these, as cast one of these. They're all great options. This is just the latest and greatest new one. Now, I'm going to lift this out of here and go to the lid. I'm sorry, not the lid, the front. Um, so the round throttle variant has two big ports like this, okay? These fittings do not come with it. It comes with plugs for every port. Uh, so if you don't need any vacuum, you run breathers, race car, you know, evap delete, blah, blah, blah. You can plug everything out of the box. Now, we're also gonna have kits and uh, a list of what you need if you want to connect stock stuff. So these two ports 
or two ports on the round throttle. The, the mono only has one on this side. So what I have here is a barb fitting um, that you would connect your catch can to. So I like to run all coyotes under vacuum with a sealed system, not with breathers. It's cleaner, keeps a uh, vacuum on the rings. I mean, that's really how the coyote should operate. It's how it was designed to operate. Sometime we can do a tech talk on catch cans and that if, uh, if there's interest. But this would be right. It's not a quick connect fitting. Uh, if these take off, we might look into machining a quick connect fitting for this, uh, for like a UPR quick connect end. Uh, in the meantime, uh, this is the size hose that UPR uses in their kits, uh, and everybody should be using similar. Uh, you pull your quick connect end out of the hose, slide your hose on, uh, clamp it, depending, I mean, it might even hold without a clamp, depending on your, your setup. I mean, it's under vacuum all the time, unless you're boosted, you probably want to clamp it. So, catch can on this side, basically in a stock location. Um, if you're running the round variant, I would probably suggest putting like your purge valve or um, master connection on this side. Um, either one. Uh, we have uh, the fittings and the numbers we need through our cane for uh, that, whichever way you decide to go. Now these two ports down here, um, I've got straights on here. This is where you're going to hook up, uh, again, either your master or your purge, right? So you can connect both of them down here on this intake if you need to. You might need to get some bulk hose from like an, an auto store or whatever. Um, you can use just one, plug the other, depending on, again, your setup and what you're using. Um, but there's plenty of ports and uh, we already know what you need. Just, you know, we'll put kits up, let us know if you need help um, to connect whatever you need to connect. We've done enough of the installs in house, uh, especially with the older, uh, the Holly sheet metal intakes that came out with several years ago. We had a nice installation kit for those, put a bunch of them on. Um, we kind of figured out what works. Um, and again, it's cast. If you need more ports, if you need uh, boost, you know, boost sensors, you want to put map sensors in, you want to put anything in um, for your standalones, for, for whatever, it's cast. Drill and tap it. So, uh, this is the low ram fits under the stock hood. Like I said, interchangeable front. The other option is the high ram. Now that's basically the same design. Uh, instead of being a three piece, it's a two piece. The lid has the throttle flange made into it and it's a little bit taller. Runners are the same length, but there's more plenum volume. Uh, that should lead to a little more horsepower. The only downside to the high ram is that you, uh, you do not fit the stock hood. So you can, again, basically do the same thing that you do for a Cobra Jet. You can cut the hood a little bit, you can lower the motor a little bit, combination of both. Um, so that is a broad overview uh, of what's included with the new Holly intake. Again, 800 bucks. Um, even if you need a stock fuel rail kit and some vacuum, you're looking at another 200 bucks tops. So you figure a grand for a stock connect style kit with everything you need. If you need the stock throttle adapter right around, or stock throttle adapter on a gen three. So like the maximum of all the kits with the fittings, everything, you're right about a grand. That's less than a Cobra jet before porting and it flows as good as a ported Cobra jet. Uh, as soon as we get some flow information and some porting information, we'll talk to Jason from 1320 uh, go over what kind of uh, gains to be expected. We're also going to weigh it uh, before and after to see how much material and weight you can save from porting it. Um, that's the broad overview. Uh, thank you for watching. Feel free to share, subscribe. Uh, we put a lot of time and effort into these videos. I pretty much do it by myself up here uh, unless we have a special guest. So uh, if you guys want us to keep making more, please subscribe, share, show us you want them. We're not looking to monetize, make money off it, but we do need to have a, a, an interest. Um, so thanks for watching. Thanks for your time. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. Have a great evening.